There we go. Okay, we are recording, and this is another episode of the Karen and Veronica right. show. Sure. And this is Karen and Veronica, and we're going to fix potatoes today. Yeah. Yeah. I, I found this really nice little recipe on the internet for mashed potatoes. So we're going to make this today, and I'm going to start by peeling these three russet potatoes. So, oh, those look pretty good. They, they look good, and this is my little peeling knife. And, um, yes, we're having some wine. It is Christmas. Yes, yes. And while oh, I'm hi. peeling, I'm not going to be recording because you don't really need to watch me peel these potatoes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, I have peeled the three russet potatoes, and we are in Karen's kitchen, so I don't know where anything is, and I need to get rid of these peels. Where just, just put them back in your bag. And put I them back in my bag? Really? Yeah, take I them home with me? No. I'll take them home with me. I always just throw them away. <laughs> well, why can't we do that right now? Because I just throw them outside. Oh, outside? Yeah. I put them mm -hmm. in my garbage can. Oh, you directly just put them out there. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Now I understand. You see, you have to explain these things. Well, sometimes the, the get garbage it. disposal gets sensitive. Well, I thought we would just put it into the garbage can. No. But that's under your sink. I don't like that. See, I, this is why I have to ask her everything. Well, you know, her I, don't, kitchen. I don't take mine out daily. I don't either. Well, sometimes they stink. Mine That's does. only because you have a very good sense of smell, and I don't, so I don't notice it. <laughs> it's true. Okay, so now I've got these three peeled russet potatoes. I'm going to rinse them off a little. Okay? Okay. I don't know why, but my mother always did this. My mother did too. Really? Oh, oh yeah. It must be a thing. Okay. So. Are you going to keep them like that or are you going to cut them small? I'm going to cut them into little pieces now. Oh, okay. And then they're going to boil, let's see. Okay. Over there on the yes. stove, which you, you can't see yet, but it's over here. So, here we go. You know, I should have brought my other knife. This is this is a paring knife. This a nice a longer, bigger longer for it'll go faster hey now that's a knife okay we're just going to start is that working oh, maybe they're just tough potatoes i would think they would they would cut a little easier than this by the way, I've never made this, so we're going to have an interesting... If you need a different knife. Maybe another. Maybe a knife that's actually sharp. Well, get that, one of those. That's a, that's a, um, that's a fillet knife, actually. Mm. Fillet of potato. Mm. Oh. Oops. Okay. Oh. Am mm. I there? Are you Hi, seeing? I Hi. see you. Yes. I don't know. Let's see how sharp that one is. Okay. Is that let's long enough for you? Yeah. Let's see what this does. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Karen. This is... Okay. Oh. This is serrated. That's good. You want a serrated I one? I like serrated. Oh, okay. That's all I needed to know. You know, I think this is just some tough potatoes we got here because it shouldn't be that hard. Okay, let me try my original little paring knife here. See? Look, it's going right through. Look at that. Huh. That's how it should go. I sharpened this before I came over. Well, see, see? I haven't sharpened look at that. the other one. That's, look at that. That's how it should be. Okay. So she's so, dirty. Three of my knives. Oh, you she, see this thing? If she you? had sharpened them, like I did this little guy. If she had told me she was going to need these knives. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is... This is our Christmas, and we are having fun. <laughs> I'm just going to cut up these guys, and Karen, if you would 
get that big pot over here so I can just put these guys in and make more room for cleaning up more. Thank you. Okay. See, everyone can do this. This is pretty easy. You're going to boil these things down. Wait, don't take that away. I wasn't. I was <laughs> Everyone wonders what I'm doing. Oh. I just think some of these pieces were too big. I need to make them a little okay. smaller. But yeah, I got to Now you can put this back over okay. there and I'll keep working on this stuff. Boom, 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 boom. Potato number two. I like to go through the middle like that. And then we got this. See, I, I'd go through the middle of the end, but that's me. Would you go over there and make sure that we're on film here and that it's not like pointing in the corner over there? <laughs> no, you're on film. Uh, you're can good. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm seeing oh, okay. what you're doing. So I will take Karen's advice and cut it once more in the middle and then we'll do it this way. And you know, that's a good idea. I just do it because it, it saves time. Well, that's, we always want that. We want to save time. Look at that, like butter, huh? Yeah, amazing. And if you would, with the pan. These guys in here. We got one more to go. See, I would have taken a sip of wine at this time. But I forgot. Me. You have to remind me. Remember, I'm not on my home court. That's, That's a good Cabernet she got here. Clou de Bois. Clou de Bois. Clou de Bois. What is it? They, the they told me it was Clou de Bois. Where's that bottle? It's over there. Clou de Bois. That's what we're having here. I went to. Clou de Bois. The wine store. They called it Clou de Bois. I'm just going by what they call Who it. are these people in the wine store? I don't know, just people that act like they know what they're talking about. That's how you do it. You pretend you know what you're doing until you really know what you're doing. See? You just pretend. And then we just go along and say, okay, that's right, but somehow, the pot, please. Thank you. One more. One more deal here. What did I do? Oh, goodness. Okay. I didn't know I was going to be her sous chef today. My elf sous chef. <laughs> Top hat. You got the hat for it. <laughs> Top hat. And the rest is your tuxedo, hat. huh? Yes. Okay. Once more with the pot. Boy, these are going to be a lot of potatoes. Yes. Oops. Oh, let's put this over here. But we like potatoes. Yes, we do. Maybe this will be really good. Okay, now, I'll let you do this now. And then we're going to put some water in here. So we're going to wait for them to get done. How much water do you put in? See, until it sort of covers all the potatoes. Make sure everything is, is submerged. The said? No. Oh. I learned this from my mom. Oh, okay. Okay. So if you would, turn that on because you know your oven better How, than I do. What do you want it turned on to? I want it turned on this one here where the potatoes no, are. Okay. To what? To what? Let's, high, let's start with high, and when we see it going, then we can turn it down a little. Okay, well, how's that? Let's watch it real quickly, because all of a sudden it'll be bubbling. Right, we got to watch that. Okay. And I just, I like to go along, you know. You just what? I like to go along and try to keep things clean. I do that, too. I wash as I go. And then you don't have a big mountain of dishes at the end of the day. Yeah, where are you going to put that now? No, not I took up all your space. Oh, in here? In your dishwasher? I don't think so. I'll, I'll, I'll put it up later. Okay, we're going to...
gonna wait for those potatoes to boil, and so I'm gonna just cut She's right now. She's gonna sing you a song. <laughs> see this? Do you see this? This is what I have to put up with. Maybe I'll just let the camera keep rolling and record with this. Look, she's got the hat. There we go. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. I don't know the song. But you're looking real good in the camera here. <laughs> Got you right in there. the camera because there's going to be um, maybe we're going to have to move the camera so we'll be back there it goes now we're ready. okay okay we are back and the potatoes are boiled so I'm going to use this colander to strain the potatoes where can I do this Right here. In, in the sink? Oh, yeah. Great. into the into there but this is also oh really oh I well, never thought of doing that well you know everyone's different okay well I brought a big bowl so here we go I'm yeah. smashing the potatoes with this old-fashioned smasher I wouldn't do that either you wouldn't do this no. what would you do mixer you get it your mixer yeah oh. Well, my, my mom's old-fashioned way. That's your mom's. Well, my mom was even more old-fashioned than yours. And she did it this way. Because yeah, <laughs> your mom's accent was different from my mom's my accent. My mom was Hungarian. And we mashed potatoes the old-fashioned way. But I think your mixing way would have been really good. Oh, now, what's the little thing? Oh, you know what? We have to heat up some of that half and half in here. Just okay. warm it up a little. How much? Just, you know, like this much. Well, what does the recipe say? Um, the recipe does not have any measurements. It just has ingredients. Is this like your mother's old mashed potato? It's, it's someone's old mashed potato recipe. Someone? I found it on the internet. What can I say? You found a recipe on the internet and that has no... Except for the butter. It tells you how much butter to use. It says to use... A half of a butter chunk. Oh. Well, you better know what a butter chunk is. We, can we need get, Paula Dean. We, we can only guess at this point. So. Okay. Now we're supposed to warm up milk, but we're going to use half and half because it's Christmas. And she doesn't really show you what to do anyway, so we might as well do what we want. Yeah. Okay, right. so I've got my half and half She's in there. She's got a... And that's recipe. new, so you have to pull the little string off. out like a, like a grenade. I just love it. A recipe off the internet. Grandma's old recipe that doesn't really tell you anything except for what goes in it. Exactly. And that's the one she picked. Well, Only her. Well, the, that's the, the family said it was really good. 
And they had it every year for many, many years. Like 200 years, they had these mashed potatoes. Yeah. And put some in there, and then we just heat it up a little bit. Well, tell me how much. I don't know. Just a little more. OK. That's good. And That's how good. much should I put another one? Put it on like a low. We're not going to cook it. We're just heating it up a little. That low? Maybe a little, a little higher. higher, higher little? Yeah, like that. Like that? OK. And then put that thing back up and put it in the middle. Put it here. Okay. And then while you're in the refrigerator, at my house. while you're in the refrigerator, you can get out the sour cream and the butter. Oh, good. And it's right where it should be. I put them all in one space. Okay. So I'm going to take the sour cream, one little tub of sour cream, and. Well, well, we don't want that yet because it'll get too mushy. I, I want to have some control over that. Okay, we'll see. Just put it right there. Okay. okay, here's this. Now, this, where do we put that? In the garbage in there? We'll just kind of raise it and okay. put it in there with that. And I'm going to put this sour cream in the potatoes. Even though she didn't know how much. It did say a small container. And this is a small container, so we had more of a clue on this. Well, Grandma wasn't too old because it wasn't telling us how to make it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I saw a roll of butter in the grocery store. A yeah, roll? A roll. A roll? Are you kidding me? Roll. What do we do with that? I don't know. Oh, nobody yeah. knows. Okay. You know, while I'm doing these potatoes, yeah. I'm going to get my um, steamed broccoli started. Okay. Would you get my broccoli out of your refrigerator? We'll put that in here and steam it. We want this to be a little bit healthy, so we're having some steamed broccoli. Yeah, she's it's interrupting. In the she's interrupting my wine time. Oh, thanks for reminding me. Put the broccoli over here. Where's your little steamer thing? A little what? Here, you'll need a scissors or something to cut that top off. You got a scissors? Yeah. Okay. Now, carefully. Put this little florets into the steamer carefully because there's just enough room for all of them. You want me to do it? Well, I could do it if you want. But, but I'm, I'm mixing the sour cream into the potatoes. <sighs> Looks pretty good here, these potatoes. Looks okay with the sour cream. That looks real good. Looks good. Yeah. I'm going to open the butter. Okay. We're using um, Irish, pure Irish butter. Because we're pure Irish. Well, she's half Irish anyway. I'm partly Irish. Yeah, that's good enough. So I don't know. It depends. This. Every time I get that little thing from Ancestry.com. Ooh, I'm going to eat that out there. Well, that place that, you know, tells you what you are. Oh, everyone knows what that is. Okay, anyway. Yeah, get the little florets in there and then put the top on and that will be good. That's good, just like that. Okay. Put the top on. Put the top on. And we're going to put it on. Um, yeah, we'll start there. Don't start where? Right there. Okay. We'll start there. Okay. okay. This is in the garbage. Okay. So, what does the recipe say? Um, a chunk a of half butter. of a chunk of butter. Okay, I need, I need my, um, here's my little knife that I was using. I washed it. And, and therefore it is in here. Yes. I'm going to use this to the chunk out my butter. Heart. Yeah, I'm just chunking out butter here. Ooh, okay. I don't know. I have one that's getting. It says, um, 
One half of a butter chunk. I'm not sure what that means, but hey, it's butter, you know? How bad can it be? It's good butter. Yes. We Irish, we know what to do. And it's not any of that foamy butter. It's the real thing. So I'm just chunking this. I'm real thing. Irish. I should be drinking the, the beer. You got some back there. I see it. Huh? Yeah, but that was put on the. Uh, oh, we put that on the turkey. Okay. Yeah. Instead, I, I, I marinated it. Garbage. Okay. Now I'm hoping these butter chunks melt a little bit in here because they were in the refrigerator. Uh oh. What's that? What's that smoke alarm doing going off? That's not my smoke alarm. That's there my, was beeping. That's my door. Oh, you do. Okay, good. I have an good, alarm. Good. Oh, my God. I live in a safe neighborhood. Okay. I, that's it why we have. like a smoke alarm. That's why we have alarms. That's How's good. that milk doing? Is that warm? Put your finger in there and see if it's warm. It's nice and cold. Cold? Yes. Oh, you turned it up. I did. Bit. Okay, because it's got to be warm. For some reason, you're not supposed to put cold milk in here. You gotta warm it up. I don't you know why. It all the time. Huh? What? What was that? I do it all the time. Oh, you do? Oh, you're a better cook than I am. I would never even consider doing that. The recipe said warm milk. Okay. Oh, look, my broccoli is starting to steam. So we're gonna turn the broccoli down. Just like that off. Oh. Okay. Now, would you please hand me the black pepper, my assistant? Oh, you're a black pepper. Thank you. Yeah, I brought it. Yeah, I tell you. I, I just don't have that good product. I don't like her black pepper. <laughs> yes, I make her do these. Oh. Mine, mine, mine is you have to grind it. I just do this. And now, if you would please get me the onion powder. Okay, so now remember what we got in here so far. We've got three russet potatoes mashed up. We have a small container of sour cream. We have some chunks of butter. We have black pepper and now onion powder. Onion powder, yay! We love onion powder. This, this is the, look, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to put all this right in. Whoa. Oh, too much? I'm sorry. Did that scare you? I'm sorry. What's up? Have you done that before? No. Oh, God. Well, it doesn't say how much. I hope you like onion potatoes. There's a lot of potato here. We need a lot of onion powder, I guess. Oh, my gosh. What? It's, you know, it'll be okay. Mm -hmm. No? I think this might be too tight on your head. <laughs> And this might be too much in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, it's going to her head. Mm. Okay. Here we go. Check, would you, sweetie, mm -hmm. would you check that milk again, please? Is it getting warm? It's warm. Okay. So we can turn this off and pour that milk in there. All of that. Thank you. Oh boy. Oh. Maybe I should go back to the masher to mix this better. You know, I don't know if y'all can see this, but that's it's sort of like oatmeal with milk. That's a lot. That's a lot. Better. Are you sure that it's supposed to look like that? I don't know what it's supposed to look like. I don't know. But it's starting to look like um, soup. Okay, I was going to say cake batter. We may have cake potatoes, huh? Yeah, it, it's looking a little bit, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's not exactly looking it as... It looks like, you know... Whoa, we got to really mix this. Yeah. There's milk all over. Yikes. This is scary. Look, have I put everything in there? Yes. Okay. It's all in here. 
oh my gosh, it's like cake batter. It's awful. Are you... Does it have any resemblance to mashed potatoes at all? Not really. No? It looks like soup. Like potato soup? Maybe. Well, we could have, we could call it potato soup. That's fine That's with what me. we'll do. We'll just have to do that. There's one more step in this process. We, we, we heat it up we're in the gonna, oven. We're going to put it bake in the it, oven. Not just heat it. We're baking it in the oven oh, now. Excuse me. Okay. Baking it in the yeah. oven. And here is my my big pirate's baking thing. Can I put that on there? No, because it's too hot. Yeah, it's been too hot. Uh, we'll put it over here. Can put it there. Okay. So I'm going to fit as much of this um, potato batter as I can. Oh my God! Look at this. Okay, maybe oh, maybe it will all fit. I think it will. That would be nice. Let's hope it doesn't pop up like a souffle. Do you think we'll need a bigger bowl? <laughs> Look at that! I think it's just gonna fit. I Ooh. think it's gonna fit. Yeah. Okay. Now, remember, if it's too soupy, we'll just call it potato soup. Yes. All right. Now this has to go in there. So do you, don't you have one more thing you have to do? <gasps> more butter! Yes, of I'm course. sorry, I forgot. See, I, I took a peek at the recipe. That's right, I forgot. More butter, it says so right there. You're right. See, this is why I keep her around. She remembers all this good stuff, and I don't. I would just forget everything. There we go. Look at that. Oh boy, lots of butter. I think before we put that in, I think it would be time to take out the squash dressing. Oh, really? Yes. So we'll put that probably on top of the turkey that we have. Ooh. Ooh. Can you see this all? You see how pretty this looks? Can you see this? Actually, I think you have a very potatoes. Okay. You can put that there. Yeah, this is going down. Don't put it on Ah, okay. Don't put yourself. Okay. That is, I'm going to pull out the squash. Okay. I think it is done. Now, on my potatoes, we only have to wait for it to get light brown. And I think it's done, don't you? Or that? Oh, yeah, that looks good. You think it's done? Squash dressing she made. Yes, that'll work. You know, we could stop filming right now because it's just going to be a while till the potatoes get kind of light brown yeah because there's no yeah. telling of how long you cook we don't either. know how long or at what temperature we just don't know no we just kind of do it <laughs> like and we are recording so if you were with us for our christmas um video you saw that we made a little mashed potato recipe that had no in no um, measurements, only ingredients. Yes, right? yes. And then we put it in the oven, but the battery in my camera cut out. It was just done. So we couldn't film Died. the um, how you know how it looked, how it came out. So what we did was we recreated the whole process again. And what you're going to see now is when we take it out of the oven. I did it exactly the same way, right? You can yes, attest to yes, that. We did exactly, exactly the, the same, same. Like batter, soupy. Yes. And um, it's, um, you know, it's almost ready to come out. It's like a little bit light brown on the edges. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to bring it out and um, put it on the table and actually taste it. And we can see how it looks. And you can see how it tastes. So that's going to be a few more minutes. So I'm going to turn it off now, and we'll turn it on again in a few minutes. 
Yes. Right? Does that sound good to you? Yeah, I think so because we have just a few things that we're, we're going to heat up. We're uh, steaming other some things. broccoli and she's going to heat up her squash casserole. Squash casserole uh, dressing. Dressing. Thing. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That we had at Christmas. You had it. She had it frozen. So we're yeah. going to heat that up. It's the same that. one. Ah. Yeah. yeah. And I'm steaming broccoli again, but it's not like the last time. It's a broccoli that came in a salad kit. And now I find out she doesn't like raw broccoli. I said, okay, we're going to steam it then. Steamed broccoli Isn't salad. Isn't she sweet? Just for me? Yeah. Could have just clunked her on the head with it. But actually, that's a good idea. I should have done that. Bong. <laughs> so much for her sweetness. Oh, okay, well, we'll be right back. are rolling. Okay, so we checked inside and found that the potatoes look about the way we think they should. There's a little brown on the edges and Karen's going to get it out of there for us because I don't like to go into that oven when it's hot. I'm always afraid I'm going to burn something. There we go. Oh, and it looks so good. Okay, wait, I'm going to do a close-up, but I need to get this camera off. I know I should have thought of this before, but I thought of it now. Okay, here we go. We're coming in. Look at that. Mmm. How's that? That looks good. Mashed yummy. potatoes. Looks pretty good. And now we're going to have to bring that over to the table. And I'll do that. Oh, thank you. And over here at the table, I guess, put her dressing there. Okay, here we go. We're going to put it right up on top of there. Just, just like that. Mm-hmm. The what spoon? What spoon? Well, just... Find a thing in there. Just that. Yeah. I'm trying to set up this camera. I don't know. How about like this? No. I'm going to put it back on the tripod. Yes. Is this a thing? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Is it soupy? Is it like cake? It's not like cake. It's a little soupy. But not uh oh. Not. Really? It's not bad. Oh, and it smells heavenly. Does it? Yes, it does. I'd really like to get a close-up of how that thing looks. But Can you get it? I, I, you know, this tripod is really not... I'm going to have to come up with something else. There we go. This look is what this. I want. Look how good this looks. But does it look like mashed potatoes? Yes. It looks like slop potatoes. No, it doesn't. Look really? At this. Look how it's supposed to be like that? Look how good this looks. Look at this. You think? Yes. yes. Yummy, yum, yum. Okay. And I got mine. She's got some leftover um, dressing. Squash dressing. Squash dressing from Christmas. It's been in the freezer. And we have these little salads, little broccoli salads here. All right. And um, believe it or not, that's our dinner. And we're hungry, so we're going to eat. Well, go ahead and try those potatoes. we got to let people know if they taste okay or if they taste crappy. Okay, it's going to be a little hot, so... A hot. 
That is good. Uh oh. What? Well, but I want it a little more. Cool it off a okay. little. Good? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Delicious. So, without measuring anything, we ended up with delicious mashed potatoes. Delicious. That's amazing. I'm not shocked. You're not? No. I am. I don't know why. She makes other stuff that tastes delicious. She just does this and this and this and this and mixes it and it tastes good. Okay then. Oh, look who's here. The beast. The little beast. The beast Milo. is not coming up on the table. No. We're going to stop filming right now. Okay. Thank you. Bye.